bastard. What's wrong, Louisa? I don't weep for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. It's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night, and he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking, but I cry for Mexico. Uh, where's he being held? El Presidio. You know, in our hearts, we are married already, but his family do not approve. How could they? Well, I'm little more than a peasant girl. But that's what makes Abraham the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me, the woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him or die trying. Oh, well, well, I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. Mr. Marston, you are truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. El Presidio is to the north. We must hurry. Who knows what they will do to him? Every second, Abraham is closer to death. It is not far now. Are you ready? El Presidio. There it is. You have to find the way in. I'll do my best. There is a partially broken down wall. You should be able to scramble over it. Hurry, but please be careful. There are guards everywhere. If they see you, they will kill you both. Good luck. Que Dios te proteja. You can do this. We have God on your side. Sí, ha llegado, Reyes. La historia de la sociedad. Eres un traidor. Luisa sent me. We have to meet her by the river. Okay? Luisa, the girl you're marrying. Oh, yes. Such a devoted thing. El amor de mi vida. Get one of those horses. I will ride with you, compadre. before the army returns. Yeah. Come, follow me. I will take you to Luisa. Whoa. Atlas! Now, right like...
like the wind, my friend. Let's go. Slow up. Whoa, whoa. Luisa sent me. Vamos, date prisa. The army is coming. Cuidado, behind you. I was planning on putting a bullet in your back. Well, try to resist the urge. How do you know my young lover, Laura? It's Luisa. I saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women, Luisa, if you want her. I'm here for two men, and that's it. You have been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very funny. Not like that. I'll explain later. I am free again! I will write a poem about these days. This is from a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. I wish I could see Agenda's face when he finds out that I defeated a hundred of his men. All you've done is get on the back of this horse, my friend, and you barely managed that. We saw you, Zapajet. Buena suerte, compadre. Let's go! There she is. I remember her now. Mi amiga. Abraham, Mr. Marston. Oi! The revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, John. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo. And let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well... Best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men. And in return, you will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! La barona tu va, bella. Bye, John. Vente conmigo. Tu sabes que en esta luz Puedo ver el fuego en tus ojos. Laura, dame la fuerza para luchar. Your milestone! Good news, good news. The Coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. Dámelo! Dámelo! Besito! Besito! Don't be so conventional! Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent! Not save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. 
It is my gift to you. For all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect them in. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the Santa, I want you to take care of Senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón, go! Adelante! <laughs> Mi amor! Mi amor! <laughs> Follow me. A wagon has already been prepared. Hola, senor. Buenas. Hola. Here we are. Go, my friend. They're in the church. Mr. Maston, <laughs> gracias for your service to this land. <laughs> Levanten esta pizza, mierda. <laughs> Levántenlo. Marston! Hey! Marston! <laughs> you have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience. Because you're about to meet God. <laughs> My brother! They will kill you if we don't get your ropes off. Over here, I will free you. What the hell is this? 
Today, we have proven that the days of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men. But, 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 el trabajo, the job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight all day and night until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, Allende will know justice. My brothers, fight on! In our hearts, we are all free! Let us make it so! Viva la revolución! Viva Mexico! 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 Hey, señor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antilas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. Mercy! El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston. My father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can, but I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people, for these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marson, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family. Just because. Please. Good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Come on! The army convoy is already on its way.
coming from the east. We going to steal their supplies? No, destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. You have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. You are the expert, gringo? But where? Start here. Are you sure you want them so close to each other? Here. Another one here. What are you waiting for? Show us where to place the dynamite. And the last one here. Go meet Luis at the detonator. We will handle the rest. John. I and they will fall eventually. I have faith that could move mountains. Look, they are coming. Mr. Marston, we are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor.
What is it? Ah, my... John! John! Thank God you have come. That wretched animal that Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Tepulco. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Go now. My men will show you the way. I will stay with the company. Maybe the Santa can tell you where to find Javier Escuela. It is good that you are helping Luisa. It ain't right what happened to her father. She's a brave girl. She can fight as well as any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fighting for Reyes. Yes, women, even children. Everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. That's a lot to sacrifice. I just hope it's worth it. It is better to die free than live as slaves. Soldier? No, I was never much good at taking orders. So where did you learn about explosives? I guess some banks ain't easy to get into on weekends. It was impressive what you did at the bridge, destroying that convoy. The army is getting weaker by the day. I'm sure there's more supplies where those came from. We will destroy those too? Allende is scared and making mistakes. We are closer to victory than you think. Speak when we get there. We must save our energy. El Sepulcro is just up ahead. All right, let's hope. Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. We don't want to give them a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your leave, senor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick! It's no use running to Santa. It's you first, then a Linde. Touch me, and you're a dead man. Where is Javier Escuela? I should have done this. I love coming. Kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? 
you don't have to do this. There's some things you gotta finish yourself. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent dead. Maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. We all will, my friend. Espinosa is dead. The Santa is dead. The army is without leaders. We must move on Allende now before it is too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Let's go. We was friends once, long time ago, but not anymore. Old friends make their worst enemies. You're telling me. Escuela is known in this province. He was a revolutionary once, but then he went to your country. Now they say he kills for anybody who will pay. That sounds about right. Javier Escuela. <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <coughs> <laughs> Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Well, 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 look who it is! The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution! I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you, or me, with... With just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, send my people free! Libre Mexico! Libre Mexico! Mexico! Viva la revolución! Their energy is, 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 is like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so, you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I, mio, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Follow me. We must hurry. 
¡Ándale! You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much Mierda, I know you're already. Us down, you told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. So how did you meet these Williamson and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together, under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids, lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless, make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. Carajo, cuidado, John. You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad, a musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper. Oh, watch what you're writing. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio. How I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific example, Allende Abraham. Allende es una marioneta. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. Mierda, you're slowing us down, Marston. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. Not far now. Superosa is just up ahead. Carajo, cuidado, John. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Oh, watch what you're writing. Today, I guess they will pay a high price for his treason. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set up a very loud distraction, 
You can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay. But listen, we've got to get this done before the train runs out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Eh? <laughs> there are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. Wait here. Like a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. Quick, brother. We don't have much time. Santos, 
as close to so we can get out of here. Is that loco? This is a great day for the revolution. <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. My spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. <laughs> 